Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the evidence is clear. Masks work to reduce transmission rates. Not every state requires them. Currently, 17 states do not require mandatory mask wearing statewide. And if you're wondering what those 17 states are, Alaska, Arizona, Florida, Georgia, Idaho, Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska, New Hampshire, North Dakota, Oklahoma, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Utah, and Wyoming. Now, Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden recently proposed a three-month nationwide mask-wearing mandate. However, he also tempered the efficacy of his proposal by suggesting it shouldn't come from the president or Congress, but rather should be implemented by the consensus of all 50 state governors. In real life, this allows the strong likelihood that some governors would still say no. Well, now there's a new bill that would require a nationwide mask-wearing mandate instituted by Congress. The Masks for All Act would nationally require the use of face masks in all public spaces where social distancing of at least six feet is not feasible. It was introduced by Florida Democratic Representative Frederica Wilson. Supporters argue that widespread mask usage is by far the best way to sp reduce the spread of COVID-19, which has killed more than 170,000 Americans so far. Opponents, including President Trump, countered that masks should not be required nationally because it would be an infringement on personal freedom. All I know is the last time everyone was required to wear masks was that 2003 Fox reality show, Mr. Personality, uh, the dating show where everybody was in masks so you couldn't see what they looked like. Good times.